What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Christian Sparks. You may know me online as Hippo Wombat. Uh, today, I am going to go through a tutorial for orbit weather and seasons on how to use a trigger volume to drive some behavior out of orbit. Um, what we're going to do is take this scene, which is midday and lightly cloudy, and when our player enters in a trigger volume, um, it's going to set the uh, weather pattern. So it's going to uh, load a weather pattern and then set the time uh, all at runtime. So. I am just going to create a quick folder here. Uh, we'll do trigger test. And inside that, I'm just going to make a blueprint actor. We'll do BP trigger test. <clears throat> and in this, we are going to add a box collision. I'm just going to rename that coal and set that as the root component. Um, now, if I hop over to the event graph, um, I'm just going to delete these guys out of here. And this uh, coal component, if I drag over my details, we have a few events that we can uh, generate based on this component. Uh, we're going to want the on component begin overlap. Now we want to add a variable, <clears throat> which is going to be BP orbit, and we're going to set the variable type to BP orbit, and we're going to use a reference. Now when I compile, oops, I make this editable and compile this. Now when I drop this BP trigger test into the world, set it up and scale it so that I can see it clearly when I you know, launch it at runtime. Uh, there is, whoops, if I click back on it here, a uh, little variable here that we want to set to BP orbit so that it references the instance of orbit that we have in our level. So we have that set. Now we need to uh, add a couple of uh, nodes here in a string to set up our behavior. So we want to reference BP orbit, so we're going to drag it out and click get. Um, another way to do that is if you hold control and click and drag it out. You can do it that way. So, um, on component begin overlap, we are going to set load weather pattern. Whoops, that's a different one. Set load weather pattern, and we're going to look for this guy. Um, we're going to set the weather pattern to sunny. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna drag off, whoops. And just because I like to stay organized, I'm gonna reroute. And I'm gonna call load pattern function. So that's gonna set, this is going to uh, set what variables need to be primed. This is gonna prime those variable values here. And then one more time, we're going to uh, call set params by function. We're just going to set all the parameters. Um, and we'll reroute here just to stay organized. Kind of daisy chain these together. And then this is going to uh, pull those primed variables and uh, set all the, uh, the attributes um, of the different components inside orbit. <coughs> then I am going to... Uh, reroute again and I'm going to set the time in orbit and I'm going to set it to 815 so right around sunrise and then the last portion here is going to be the update pattern function that we're going to call so this is essentially going to take everything that we have primed up and, and gotten ready here and it's going to fire uh, one event through the entire string to make sure that everything is set properly. So now, once you have all this set up, we're just going to hop into our first person example map and I want to make sure that, real quick here, that my collision is not hidden in game so that I can see it. So now, when I walk into this box collision, it sets that sunny uh, weather pattern so the clouds uh, disappear and it sets that uh, time to uh, 8.15 a.m., so right around sunrise. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. The core things to remember when loading a pattern is that you want to um, set the pattern that you want, load those variables from that pattern and prime them, and then set those parameters by the pattern. So these three nodes, 
for uh, updating a pattern at runtime. And then uh, the last thing that you want to always run is this update pattern. Um, this will make sure that everything uh, uh, reloads properly um, throughout the entire string in orbit. Um, so that's pretty much it. Super short tutorial today. Um, I've got another one coming on the way for the uh, Nebula generator that is long overdue. I'm very sorry. Um, I've had a couple of recent office moves and just a bunch of stuff going on. So I will have that tutorial out for you very soon. Um, thank you so much. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, of course, uh, leave them below. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.